comes a couple of tricks that no one really tells you about, that you only know when you actually are a successful Amazon seller. Welcome to Ecom Guide TV. In this series, I will not just teach you, I will teach you and I will show you the fundamentals that you need to learn and master down the road if you want to be successful in any e-commerce business. The first things first, you need to understand the five fundamentals. The five fundamentals are keywords, the title, the bullet points, the product description and your additional content and how to master all of these things. Today, we're going to take a closer look at the keywords. How do you find them and what are they good for? So, the most important thing the keywords do is rank you on Amazon, eBay, wherever you're selling, they give you heavy weight. Which means if I have my keyword more often in my uh, listing, I also have sales with that keyword, Amazon or any other platform will rank the listing higher, which means you're automatically gonna get more sales. That's the first job of the keyword. The second job is to help you with your PPC because it doesn't just help you with your sales, it also helps you with your PPC ranking. So if you pay for a product, if you pay for the keyword sync, but you are a faucet, you're not gonna rank high because you don't have sync everywhere in your listing. But if you sell a sync and use the keyword sync, you're gonna rank much higher because it's also in the listing. So, and probably also in the right category. The next thing is indexing. You want the right keywords and you want to pop up under the right keywords. So when you get a sale with that keyword, you will actually tell Amazon or eBay, ha, this is good. Because Amazon makes money from your sales, not just from your pay-per-click sales. It, they will make money of every sale you do, which means Amazon is incentivized to put high converting listings as high as possible. So Amazon's algorithm looks for the search keywords and sees this keyword, these are the listings that sell best on this keyword. So we're gonna put them higher, even though you're spending less or more money on that keyword, for instance, there's competition out there that has a higher converting listing. They can be spending less money per click and still end up higher because they have a higher conversion rate. This is why it's so important to have the right keywords and a converting listing. The last thing is of course CTR. So your click through rate, we say. And that's important because most of the time it's the first picture that gives you the CTR, so the click through. But the title is also important. If the right things are in the beginning of your title with the right keywords, you will actually get a little bit of help from your keywords to get that click. So the last thing, how to find them. This is really the bread and butter of every good Amazon seller. You want to find the keywords, you want to find the keywords the competition doesn't know about, and you want to put them in your listing wherever you can. So the most important thing is check your competitors' listings. That's the first thing you should always do. You put your big keyword, like if you sell a faucet, you put the word faucet in there and you check out what are my direct competitors? What are the products that look, that are very close to my product and what are the keywords they are using in their titles and bullet points? And you make a list and you copy them out. The next thing you can do when you're already selling on Amazon or maybe you've been selling a similar product for a longer time, you have your PPC and you can go and look into the data which keywords converted and have already get generated sales with and you can use those keywords again in your new product. You can use keyword tools. They're very, very good if you're selling on a market where you're not 100% familiar with the language because they can find nuanced keywords that you maybe don't know. You find maybe the word that's, that's grammatically the translation for this word, but they're actually using a different keyword. So it's very good to have keyword tools for that. What you can then do once you've generated the list of keywords from the competitor's titles, from keyword tools, from Amazon Autofill, of course. Almost forgot that. So the Amazon Autofill works like Google Autofill. You put the first word in and Amazon will recommend you words that other people are using. So you can also use these words. They're specifically good to get long tail keywords. Long tail keywords means a keyword that has more than one word, maybe two, three, or even four or five words depending on the product and category and you take all of those keywords then and now you have to see which ones are more relevant which ones give more traffic so you can go to google trends and compare similar keywords to each other and find out which ones are the ones that you want to put into your listing now comes a couple of tricks that no one really tells you about that you only know when you actually 
actually are a successful Amazon seller. Wrong written keywords. People do never write everything correctly. And that's a fact. Everyone knows that. Everyone misspells. People don't write how you write in English class from the books. People don't write like that. It's just a fact. So what you gotta do is check for words that are not correctly written. In your PPC, it will really, really work. Especially in foreign languages that have accents and other special letters that are people maybe too lazy to type correctly. And they type them wrong, but quicker. So you gotta check out these keywords that I'm showing you here, like if ye and if ye written wrong. That's for French, that's a sink. The wrong written version, which you can clearly see on Google Trends, people use much more. So when you go back to your PPC campaign and use those keywords in your title and in your PPC, you will actually get more traffic from them and you have less competitors bidding on them because they might not be as smart and use the wrongly written keyword. And this is it for today. This is it for keywords. In the next video, we are going to talk about how we can utilize all those keywords and make the perfect title for your listing. So stay tuned. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to not miss out on this content. There's gonna be much, much more content coming in the future, and I hope I'll see you there. If you have any questions, in the comment section below.